Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helena and I'm a medical student and I do videos related to lifestyle, medicine and vlogs. However, today's video is going to be a bit different. So today I am going to be talking about the pros and cons of studying biomedical science. I've actually been asked this question before. Yeah, so these are my opinion guys, okay? <laughs> So a quick background, so before medicine, I studied biomedical science for three years at Oxford Brookes University. So I've jotted down a few pros and cons. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Um, I'll say one pro of studying biomedical science is that the course is between three to four years. This is not that long actually compared to other degrees such as medicine, where it can range from, obviously if you're doing graduate education for four years, it could be five years for just a regular undergrad degree. In some cases, it can also be six years, especially if you're intercalating. So biomedical science is usually three years and it could be four years if you're taking a placement year. And I feel like that's not too bad. So that's actually a pro. If you're considering doing a master's or PhD, then obviously it can take longer because masters usually take one to two years i believe phd range for about three to four years it would then take long to get to that stage but the degree itself biomedical science degree is usually three to four years so another reason why i like biomedical science is the mixture of modules that you can do so i did so many so i remember i did biochemistry molecular biology i did research module i did immunology infection um, hematology there was so much microbiology, like there was just so much going on. So I feel like if you're the type of person where you're not really sure the type of science you like, biomedical science literally has all in one basically. So it's very broad. But obviously if you like a particular type of science, maybe it's best just studying that particular like science. So for example, you can do a degree in microbiology. However, if you want to be broad and like weigh up your options, you can study biomedical science because you've got so many avenues that you can go down. Another reason why I like biomedical science is the fact that you can get involved in research. So opportunities to do research, laboratory work, especially if that's your kind of thing, then definitely biomedical science would be helpful. So I remember we, during my degree, we did quite a lot of practicals. So if you're the type of person that enjoys theory work as well as doing practicals, then I guess biomed would be suitable for you. Another thing about biomed is if you're the type of person that don't necessarily want to see patients but you kind of want to get involved in like laboratory work slash healthcare biomed is kind of in between in the way because you don't see patients however part of your job role does involve patients for example patient samples so you're involved in patients life but not face to face if that makes sense so if you're that type of person i feel like biomed yeah pretty much suits it yeah that's actually one of the reasons why I decided to even go into medicine because I kind of wanted a field where I wanted to see patients. Another pro about biomed is there is more of a work-life balance and obviously this does depend on the field that you end up going into. I'll talk more about so I used to work in a histopathology lab. The biomedical scientist there used to work nine to five or like eight to five, basically eight hour shifts. And they used to work only Monday to Friday and got the weekends off. And to me, I would say that's more of a suitable work-life balance because you still have time to, for example, meet up with family, socialize with friends and maybe compared to medicine where your time can vary the, the days you work you might have a combination of nights days a whole lot going on basically so that is definitely a pro about biomedical science you have more of a work-life balance however this could vary for different fields because i'm speaking more about histopathology but I am aware that most laboratories kind of have similar shifts. Obviously, some people do work weekends. So another good thing about working as a biomedical scientist is in the future, you do have the opportunity to work locum shifts. So if you are the type of person that wants to maybe earn extra money or you have time to pick up extra shifts, locum shifts are definitely very very you know, useful so i like the fact that you can actually pick up extra shifts as a locum so where i used to work we used to get a lot of 
people who would come as a locum and they would work sometimes for like several weeks or several months depending on if we're lacking staff or we need extra help during that time yeah so initially when i did biomedical science i felt a bit stranded and i felt like i didn't really know what i could do with the degree honestly they are different avenues but however it's not i don't think it's really spoken about a lot especially in university well i feel like my university could have helped me a bit more in terms of the avenue that I can go down career paths. I feel like I had to do all of these research myself, hence why I like to do videos like this. But with biomedical science, especially if it's accredited and also you've completed your HCPC, so that's what you need to qualify as a biomedical scientist, you can progress during your career as a biomedical scientist. So usually you start from a band five and you can work your way up which is really good. So there is career progression. I'm a biomedical scientist, you can even further your education as well. Like, so you can do a master's or a PhD. And also it's very common that you see that people study biomedical science and then they study medicine afterwards. And biomedical science is one way of open avenue to study medicine. However, it's not the only degree that you can study to become a doctor so but however if you are like planning on studying medicine biomedical science is not the only degree that you can do before like there's so many others like people do anatomy people do physiology people do neuroscience like there's so many other degree pharmacy there's there's a list there's an endless list i might even put them in the description box for people who are wondering what degree you can do before studying medicine but biomedical science is one of them um, biomedical science was quite intense actually for me personally i felt like i had quite a lot of work to do however i figured that whilst i was doing the degree i still had time to do extracurriculums and other things apart from just being a student which i really liked so I didn't really feel like my life was like taken away from me, does that make sense? Like I still had my personal life, I still able to socialise, still able to meet my friends, still able to go to all the holidays, enjoy my Christmas and all that good stuff really. So I like the fact that I still had that balance as a student as well. Although there were times where it was obviously intense, I can't like, there was, especially when it gets to exam season, but it was manageable as long as, because I, I made sure throughout the year I was, you know, consistent in terms of my notes and stuff like that. I have that in place. It's a degree where you can actually pick up extracurriculum at the same so time. This might be a bit subjective. I guess this varies on the type of person or maybe the type of background you have or what you classify as a good paid job. But when you are a qualified biomedical scientist, you start off as a band five and prior to that so for example you've not done your portfolio you've not got a hcpc registration you can't actually work as a biomedical scientist you've, you've got a biomedical science degree but you're not a biomedical scientist if that makes sense so prior to that people sometimes do laboratory work so they work as a mla which is a medical laboratory assistant or sometimes associate practitioner in a laboratory. And this usually range from like a band two, three or four, uh, depending on where you're working, like what skills that you have or the degree that you've done, they're based on what, what band you be put on. But to be a qualified biomedical scientist, you'd have to be a band five, that's where you start off and then you can progress to band six, seven, and so on and so forth. What I'd say is, so even as a qualified junior doctor and a qualified biomedical scientist, the pay at the start is actually kind of similar, like it's not far off really. I'd say the only difference is maybe as the years go along, the pay then changes between the two degree. I'm comparing this biomedical science to medicine because this is a question that I've been asked before and also band five biomedical scientists, the pay is kind of the same actually. Actually, let's let's even do the research. So this is, oh yeah, and these values are based on the UK because this could vary from different countries. Because this is um, if you're working as a NHS biomedical scientist. So it says that the starting salary can range from 25,655 to 31,534, which is a band five with experience and or specialist knowledge, you can earn a salary of 32,306 to 39,027 pounds. 
that's a band six. And then a senior biomedical scientist you can expect to earn £40,057 to £53,219, which is a band 7 slash 8. That was a mouthful of numbers, but as I'm saying this, I'm just going to put it at the side. If you're working in London or surrounding areas, you may receive a high cost area supplement between 5% and 20% of your basic salaries. But Bear in mind that all of these values that I'm mentioning, this is before tax. So your take home money might actually, well, not might, it will be less than this, but this is the brackets they've put for the pay rate. And remember as well, the hours kind of vary. So the standard hours usually as a full-time biomedical scientist will be about 37.5 hours a week. And whereas a doctor, they're probably doing crazy hours compared to that and probably earning kind of like the same amount of money but this depends on obviously what band you're in what specialty you're doing what experience you have all of that stuff but these are like the information provided here so let's check what it says about a, the junior doctor pay maybe you guys will see there's different videos where people you know put out their pay slips and then you guys have seen it. i don't remember their names but there's a couple of people on youtube doctors who've actually put out their pay slips and seen how much they earn and how much they have to work in the uk to actually get that money and then also the amount they get taxed as well it's mind-blowing <laughs> So let's see what a foundation year doctor is usually is apparently in the UK. So this is the healthcare NHS website. This is not a definite amount. I'm just giving you a rough amount so you guys can compare what I'm talking about in terms of biomedical science and medicine or being a doctor, a medical doctor. So this is the healthcare NHS website and it says as a doctor in training, you earn a basic salary plus pay for any hours over 40 hours per week. A 37% enhancement for working nights, a weekend allowance for any work at the weekend, an availability allowance if you're required to be available on call and other potential pay. And to this, it says in foundation training, so that's the first two years of being a doctor, it says you would earn a basic salary of 29,384 to 34,000 and 12 pounds and this is from the 1st of april 2022 and it says if you are a doctor starting your specialist training in 2022 your basic salary will be 40,257 to 53,398 and then it goes on and on with the other costs which i probably won't bother going into detail but my point that i'm trying to say is the starting salary really for a biomedical scientist and a foundation year doctor is pretty much the same. And I feel like as a doctor, you've probably even been doing crazy hours. Also, obviously as a biomedical scientist, you can actually pick up more shifts to do more hours. But if you compare it really based on the hours I've mentioned here and the salary here, it's pretty much the same. There's some jobs, like if you're in it for the money, such as like medicine, if you're in it for the money, it's probably not worthwhile because you probably lose your mind afterwards. Motive is only the money. You probably crumble basically. Yeah. The cons that I would say, so these are my personal cons. Some people might disagree with this, but these are just my cons. Also as well, I would love if people can put in the comment section down below, you know, their pros and cons of studying biomedical science as well. And obviously if you have any questions as well, please put them in the comment section below. So my first con is no patient contact. So I realized that I actually enjoy meeting patients, talking to patients, interacting with patients. When I was in the lab, like I saw no patients. But as a biomedical scientist, you're definitely a great help in terms of the diagnostic process for a patient and you have a great impact. However, I, I miss that, you know, patient interaction. So that would be one of my cons really. Another thing that I didn't really like is the fact that you can't become a biomedical scientist after doing the degree for three years. And I only figured this out in my third year of university. Maybe this could be my fault, but maybe I could have done more research. But I felt like as well, 
I wasn't really well informed by my university, but I don't blame it on them too, because to be fair, we had loads of people in the course. And, um, but I just feel like I didn't really understand the process of becoming a biomedical scientist. And I wasn't really told about the placement year, the benefits of doing it, why I should do it, and why people are really doing it. Like, I felt like they didn't really promote that part, like, you know, why people should do placement year, because doing a three year degree alone does not allow you to become a biomedical scientist it almost feels like you can't work as a that you're stuck basically that's how i felt when i first graduated i felt like what am i going to do with my life like i felt like i did a three-year degree and i had no clue what i can do with this degree afterwards i just feel like maybe just getting more education at university will be helpful I figured afterwards that if you want to become like in your mind if you've made a decision you want to be a biomedical scientist you're very very sure Number one is trying to make sure that university is accredited. Being at a accredited university, it means that you've done the necessary modules to become a biomedical scientist. And there's a, there's a list of universities accredited, but sometimes some unions are not accredited. And if it's not, it's not a problem, but you do have to do extra steps if it's not accredited. Another thing is if you want to become a biomedical scientist, I would highly recommend then taking that placement year. Although that placement year does feel like financially, you're obviously gonna be spending more money and it's an extra year at university. But the great part is if you do the placement year, you pretty much have a high chance of becoming a biomedical scientist because you've done your portfolio, you've done a necessary step and probably get your HCP seats, which is what you need and then you can be registered under the Institute of Biomedical Science and you're kind of good to go really. So you're not then spending um, time after you graduate, you know, doing that process. It's almost like you graduate and you pretty much have a job, but yeah. So you are you can practice as a biomedical scientist, you can go, especially if you're working in the NHS, you can go straight to a bi five biomedical scientist. So yeah, that's the end of my video. I hope this video wasn't too long. If you do like this video, please, please, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I also put like information on how you can contact me, for example, through email. I'll be able to reply as soon as possible. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next one. Bye guys.